Although Zogo Player will play all kinds of file formats, including uh, several video formats, it is nice to standardize on the quality of videos and the frame rate. And Handbrake is a great way to do that. In fact, let's go ahead and illustrate how that could be done. We'll fire up a Handbrake here. And you don't have to drop in one file at a time, although certainly you could do that. You could go into a batch folder setup where you just pick an entire folder um, that has assets in it. So in this case, I'm just going to go into this folder here which has um, six videos, select that folder. Now notice it's scanning those videos, it's finding all six, but you're not done yet. You do have to add them to the queue. So go add to queue and say add all. Once you do that, notice over here in the queue, you actually have six videos. So click on that and you can see all six videos. So you can start the queue from right here or go back and adjust settings. Now what I like to do for Zogo is just accept the default settings. They work very, very well. Although what you can do, notice it says fast 1080p, 30 frames a second. You can adjust that preset to something maybe a little bit uh, less demanding on the player. Zogo player does 1080p very well. Zogo 4K even does 4K, and we're working on technology that can bring even higher 8K videos to Zogo. But for now, notice Fast 720p is an option, and you could go ahead and you could select that as a preset and run it. And really anything smaller than, say, 50 inches, 50 inches or smaller, 720 is a pretty good and efficient resolution for you. So let's go ahead and select 720p at 30 and start the process. Now, now you, you'll see it just run through that entire directory. And this first video here is a, a much larger, longer video. So it could take about, well, it says 32 seconds to complete. Um, other videos are going to take uh, longer or shorter depending on again that file size and original quality that you're adjusting. Your friendly Zogo support guy from the future, one thing I neglected to tell you was that by default Handbrake does create M4V files. So if you slow click on the file you'll be able to change the extension. Now today the reason we do that is Zogo does not support M4V files. It does but it doesn't accept that file extension today. The next version will. So in the meantime, if you want to just use Handbrake defaults, all you have to do is just go in and accept the changes here. Two slow clicks, MP4. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, please let us know if you have any challenges. Simply reach out to support at zogo.io.